Come here, bro. Come here, bro. All of a sudden, you have passed. Where are you from? A room up in there? Nee, Kinesa? 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 Okay, boom. We'll let them come up. Nee, man. Nederland. Here, I'm not even dead channel. Okay. See, do you see Kirisa on this side? You have Judah, American blacks. Benjamin, West Indian blacks. Levi, Haitiano, Nang. Ephraim, Puerto Ricano. Manasa, Cubano, Nang. Simeon, Dominicano, Nang. Uh, Zebulon, Guatemala to Panama. That's the Mayans and so forth. Yeah, but I see the Kirisa, man. I can't find any place in any of them. Because he's here, he's here, he's So that means, huh? Benjamin. Which one do you think you are? Which from, from these 12 tribes, which one do you think you, you slight have? What's your board? Which one of these, what, what's your father's nationality? Yeah, of yeah, Indian of Mexican, Indian of? Okay, but his father is Indian, right? Yes. Okay, good. And the mother. All right, you're here, but the tribe of Asher. The tribe of Asher. Según the Bible, ah, but the Israelites, según the, the tribe of Asher. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know Indian. But the only Indian is Indian. Good, good. Okay, this. I'm going to read a few stuff for you here according to the Bible, right? I don't know if you were paying attention earlier. We've been going over it the whole day. I want you to come here and look at these two boys. We play a game sometimes when people come here. You ever play baseball? This is like biblical baseball. When people come here, sometimes we play this game with them. Each one of these characters here have three strikes, all right? They have three strikes. You know, when you make a third strike, you're out. You're out. Good. So you understand the rules of baseball. We're going to give each of them a swing. We're going to start with describing them. I'm going to ask you first. Which one of these two here is Jesus Christ? Which one of the two of them? That one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which, which one of them do you think? Which one do you think is Jesus Christ? I think. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because they told they told us sometimes. I believe not in the uh, building. So you don't believe in pictures, right? No, man. Okay. So let's show you. Let's, you don't have to believe in this, right? This is just a board. You don't have to believe in, in any of. It's just a board. Mm -hmm. But this is we're gonna give you the true description of Christ according to the Bible. Why? Because with this image. Because with this image here. With these images, it's going to determine what the nations, uh, what us as a nation is going to think. And the Bible says, John 7, 38. The Bible says, you shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free. You have to know what your father looks like. You have to, if, for example, you have a child, right? Mm -hmm. Imagine if I took a picture of a, I don't know. Imagine if I gave your child a picture of that guy right there. The guy is right behind you. And I said to your child, that's your father. How do you think that child would feel looking at the picture of that guy and realizing he does not look like that, that guy right there? You understand what I'm saying? So the Bible says this, read. This the book of John, chapter 7, verse 38. Uh -huh. He that believeth on me, as the scriptures had said, uh -huh. out it. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So the Bible says, He that believeth on me as the scripture has said. You have to believe on the Bible as the scripture has said. Alright? John 8 verse 32. Hold on. John 8 verse 32. You have to believe on the Bible, on, on Christ as the scripture has said. Hold on. Thought. There's the book of John chapter 8 verse 32. Uh -huh. And ye shall know the truth, uh -huh. and the truth shall make you free. From what? Mental slavery. It will make you free from mental slavery because they told us in church you don't got to believe in pictures and images because that it's not nergens up. It's not important. Let's find out why they told you that. Revelation 1 and verse 13. That's the book of Revelation chapter 1 and verse 13. Remember we're still playing biblical baseball. Read. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, uh -huh. one like unto the Son of Man, yeah. clothed with a garment down to the foot. Mm -hmm. And a girt about the peps Read. with a golden girdle. Yep. Verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool. So the Bible says the true image of Christ, right? His head and his hairs were white. Matter of fact, it says his head and his hairs were white like wool. 
which one of those two pictures there has head, his head and his hair is white like which one of those two guys so what's that strike one for who this guy Begay Makamba strike one his head and his hair were white like wool so he had white woolly hair according to the bible read as white as snow as white as snow so his hair was very white read and his eyes were as a flame of fire so his eyes was as a flame of fire according to Genesis 49 verse 12 Jesus drunk wine a lot in moderation so that's why his eyes turn red you know you ever been to an Antillian party yeah, yeah, yeah. you know when we drink a lot our eyes get get red all right read and his feet light onto fine grass so before we move on strike two has already passed by the eyes there for this guy so that's strike two for this guy this guy ain't got a strike yet no. but this one does read and his feet light on to fine grass so the color of your hands and feet are they not the same color oh, no, God, no, no but the, the color of your hands and your feet is the same color right yeah, so the bible says his feet like on to fine brass what color is it Koperachtig kleur. Wat is een koperachtig kleur? Ja, dat is echt een kleur, man. Oké, okay, kijk, kijk. Ik ga, ik, ga het, ik ga het makkelijker voor jou maken. Ah, ja. Oké, okay. so you see that it's brown. It's a derivative of brown. It's in the family of brown. Read. As if they burn in a furnace. As if it burned in a furnace. So it's already dark. If I take your white shirt or your pink closet, sorry. Oh, let me say, if I take your white Air Force ones mm. and I burn them, what color are they going to become? Dorto. Okay, so if I take bronze and I burn it, what color is it, it going to become? Dorto. So what is the Bible saying, Christ is? Black. Okay, that's strike two for this devil right here. Dorto. You see that right there? The light was in the churches. They told us that color is not important. That's why when you came, you said, But today you understand that your father looks like you. You look like your father, right? Give me Revelation um, 111. Because they always say this, so we got to drill this out of your mind. Read 1 verse 11. Book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 11. Uh -huh. Saying, I am the Alpha and Omega, uh -huh. the first and the last. So Christ is speaking to John right now. When you get time, you can read the book of Revelation. It's a very deep book, but you can read this chapter to understand. Read. And what thou seest, write in a book. So if, if color is not important, why did they say, what thou seest, write in a book? Why did they say what thou seest right in a book? Because it is important. They lied to us. They told us, they told us that we are equal to everybody else. And in doing that, they put us in different religions. So some of us are Catholic, some of us are so-called Muslims, but that's not according to the Bible. You understand? It's the same thing. You are an Israelite according to the Bible. You understand? You're not a Christian and you're not a Muslim. You understand? Good. So now, but you know in your Israelite, going back over laws again, you shave your face, right? Mm. You shave it with like with a razor? No, um, what's that? that? Machine. With a machine. With a machine. With the machine. With the machine. You want to know why? Because of this right here. Leviticus 21 verse 5. We're going to be back with all the same scriptures today. And what we realize, no one that passed here ever heard these scriptures before. You understand? These are basic things. Basic things. I haven't went outside of over 15 scriptures. And everybody that's passing here has never heard this. So you understand how lost our people are. And this is our book. Read. There's the book of Leviticus, chapter 21 and verse 5. Uh -huh. They shall not make baldness upon their head. Mm -hmm. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So the Bible says you shall not make baldness on the corner of your head. Neither shall you shave off the corner of your beard. So you're not supposed to make your bald. You understand? When you shave it, you're not supposed to shave it all the way clean. Read. Nor make any cuttings in thy flesh. So I see you have tattoos too, right? Some of us already have tattoos. You can't help it. You didn't know it, it was a sin, but now you know it's a sin. So the Bible tells you, neither shall you make any cuttings in your flesh. So don't do that anymore. That's a commandment from God. You love God? All right. Give me that love. John 14, 15. Let's see what love is according to the Bible. 
Because you say you love God, right? You say you love I God. Love him. Okay. Open on my menu, right? You know, you can't love him in your way. This is the way you gotta love him. This is the book of John, chapter 14 and verse 15. So a lot of us like to say, I love God on my way. And it's good that we went here because you would have went home and said, I love God my way. Mm. But let's find out how God says you have to love him. Read. If you love me, if you love God, read. Keep my commandments. So God says, if you love him, keep his commandments. I'll give you an example. You say, you say you love God in your own way, right? God shows you, if God says here, if you love him, keep his commandments. If I'm a fireman, right? I say I'm a fireman. And I say, I want to save these people in the Berlin building behind you, right? Mm. But I just say, I'm going to save them. And when the building catch fire, I don't save them. You don't do it. Am I really a fireman? Oh, no, no. But what if I put on the suit and I come with the hose with the water? What does make you, does make you a fireman? Exactly, because I said I'm What's going to out the awesome? fire. I said I'm going to out the fire. Yeah. But I said, suppose I said, yeah, I out the fire in my own way. I have to come and turn the water on and out the fire. Just like with the Bible, he says, if you love me, keep my commandments. So don't take what we're saying right now for aggression or anything like, it, uh, like, anything like that. This is love according to the Bible, all right? Read it again. Book of John, chapter 14 and verse 15. Mm -hmm. If you love me, keep my commandments. So the Bible says, if you love me, keep my commandments. Leviticus 19, 17. Let me show you what love is. We gotta, we gotta really show you what love is. This is a brother's love from me to you. This is what love is because typically we've never had, as black men, we've never had anyone to correct us. And honestly speaking, the blacks, the, the Zokonama Antiana, the, the Suriname, the Cabo, the men, so all of these people I'm here, right? We've never been fully corrected with the Bible. We've never been corrected the right way. And honestly speaking, if we had been corrected the right way, we all would have been better off. Some of us would have not been drug dealers. Some of us would have not sit in jail. It would have been easier for us to get jobs because we didn't break commandments. You understand what I'm saying? This is the love you need to get here. Read. There's the book of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. So the Bible says you shall not hate. If I don't tell you these commandments, I hate you. Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So rebuke means to correct your neighbor. I see my brother going in error. I'm supposed to correct him. Read. And not suffer sin upon him. And not suffer sin upon him. So, I'm going to ask you a question. The laws today, right? Because the Bible says I'm not supposed to suffer sin upon him. You know, in order to keep the commandments, you, in order to love God, you got to keep the commandments, right? So here's a question. Would you say that you have to keep God's laws today? You have, when you go home, right? There's something you have to be. You're either going to continue living a life the way you want to. You ever seen the Matrix? Yeah, man. When you gave him the red pill and the blue pill? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You have two choices today. You're going to take the red pill and... A lot of people don't even realize they I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. Then after class, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again, 30. And keep the commandments or you're going to take the blue pill and continue on in life the way you want to. So here's the question again. 
Do you think the laws of today are done away with? That you don't gotta do them anymore? Okay, let me ask you another way. You think a sinner gonna make it to heaven? Someone that's sinning willfully, intentionally? Give me that in John, first John but, 4. But you know what I mean? Um, Give me first John 4. Kijk nou bro. Hey, hey rustig, 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 rustig. Ik kan het Nederlands verstaan, maar je moet, je moet leren. Read. First John, chapter 3, and verse 4. Yeah. Whosoever committed sin, transgresseth also the law. Uh -huh. For sin is the transgression of the law. So the laws that we have to do, right? For example, I told you about the beard. That's the law of God. That's why I asked you. Do you believe you have to keep these laws today? Because if you don't keep these laws, but you are transgressing the laws of God. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? It's not what you do, man. You, 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 you. Talk now. I'm letting let you talk. Okay, you just got to get the scripture. You must be scared and so. Uh -huh. Bro, I have two children. Uh -huh. And I must be scared for work. No, but the way you have from a kind the mouth we have to learn. No, 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 no. You have to use wisdom. For example, for example, you keep your beard like that, right? That is good because I can still see your beard. You have a very thin beard. Yes, because but you don't have to ball it. Let's say, for example, you see him. So now you understand. Read. Accept it. Accept it. Read. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 19, and verse 16. Uh huh. And behold. One came and said unto him, uh -huh. Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So the Bible, so this guy is asking Christ, What good thing, what should I do to have eternal life? Read. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? Why are you calling me good? Christ asked him, Why are you calling me good? Read. There is none good but one. There is none good but one. That is God. That's God. That's Jesus Christ. Father, according to the Bible, read. But if thou wilt enter into life, so if you want to enter into the kingdom, Irano, read. Keep the commandments. So you have to keep God's commandments. You understand? Oh, yeah. To the best of your ability, you have to keep God's commandments. So for example, so for example, I see you have your head covered, right? Give me First Corinthians chapter eleven and verse two. Because we've been teaching a while now, and I see you have your head covered. You have, you have your durag on, right? I know you want the waves and so. No, no, no. What is no, no, what the Bible says? Oh, you have the plaques. This is what the Bible says. Okay, read. No, 11 and verse 3. There's a book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 3. Here's another law. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. You have a woman home, right? Are you married to her? No, no. You won't get to that just now. And the head of the woman is the man. So there's an order that the Mosai set up, right? He said that. The, read again on the top. But I will have you know that the head of the man is Christ. So your head is Christ. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. Brother, you there? Listen to this too. Eh? Listen to this too. English. Read like read. English. You understand English, right? Read from Samaritan. What? Read from Samaritan. Guinea. 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 Okay, I want both of y'all to listen to this. Read again from the top. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So the Bible says the head of every man is Christ. You look around, you see all of us here, our head is Christ. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of the woman is the man. So you are the head of your house. Read. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is God. So there's an order there. It's not like everybody doing what they want. If Christ has a head and he can't do what he want, and we have a head and we can't do what we want, our women underneath have to understand that we are the head and they can't do what they want. But let's get to the point. Read. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonored his head. So the Bible says every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, this honor with his head. So what are you supposed to do right now? Take it off. Exactly. <laughs> brother, are you there with a the Jordan hat? The Bible says, hey, brother, are you there with a the Jordan hat? The Bible says, read it again. Listen to, listen carefully every, to what the Bible says. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, uh -huh. dishonored his head. So the Bible says, every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonored his head. So you know God is your head, right? You understand that? Right. Uh, 
Do you know Christ is your head, right? Excuse me? Muslim. Okay, read out your free time. So you understand that Christ is, is, is your head, right? So what are you supposed to do? Take my thing off. Do that. So, so what are you waiting on? Huh? What are you Pray waiting out? on? I'm nothing. I mean Pray nothing. Out. Wait, I mean nothing. Nothing, the man. prophecy is coming out. The laws of God coming out. That is a sign of rebellion right there. You find out God is your head. I'm going to read it again for you. I'm going to give you one last chance again. But I would have you know. So God say, I would have you know. That the head of every no, no, man. No, no, skip to the point. Skip to the point. One point. Every man praying or prophesying so every man praying or prophesying look at us right here around none of us have our head covered read having his head covered uh -huh. dishonoreth his head uh-huh so you dishonoring christ's head so you dishonoring christ as your head so what are you going to do are you going to continue having a durag on your head or are you going to take it off i'm going to leave you decided muslim brother muslim brother i want you to come up right here hey muslim brother your turn Hey. Yeah, have you have enough men? Huh? Bro, you must say the thing off your up of your up of your hoof, Afala. You have to take the durag off your head. Do you understand? Was there four and verse six? Let me show you something, brother. We went into slavery, right? You was here listening on the side. You understood the whole thing about slavery. For something simple, for something simple like this thing right here. You choose not to take the thing off here. This is what the Bible says. There's the book of Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 6. Uh -huh. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Give me Malachi 2, 7. Holy. So the Bible says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge knowledge right good i want you to hang up hold on to that my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge there's the book of malachi chapter 2 and verse 7. uh-huh for the priest lips should keep knowledge so the priest lips us right here we are the priest read and they should seek the law at his mouth so that's what knowledge is according to the bible back to Hosea 4 verse 6. so it says my people are destroyed for lack of what the laws of god you are getting the laws of God, but what are you doing? Read. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. So the Bible says, because you reject knowledge, because you reject knowledge, what? I will also reject thee. So the Bible says, God says he's going to reject you. If you reject his laws, he's going to reject you. Do you understand that? So, 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 this what can you do? What are you going to do now? Bro, bro. Bro, do you understand what the Bible is saying, right? You understand what the Bible is saying? Give me that, give me that in, uh, give me that in Matthew, the heart. Give me that in Matthew, the heart. Four and what? Four. Heart seven. Give me Matthew 721. Mark 721. Let me show you what the heart is because you say, I do things out my own heart. So you will now let me know what your own heart tells you. Listen. Listen to the Bible. Listen to the Bible. I onderdruk, I can not onderdrukken. Jij moet, jij moet zelf beslissen wat jij gaat doen. Read, read, read. This the, this the book of Mark, chapter 7, verse 21. Uh -huh. For from without of the heart of man mm -hmm. proceed evil thoughts. So this is what the Bible is saying about the heart. Because we love to say, God know my heart, and, and I'm such a good Christian, and God loved me in my heart. Read. For from without of the heart of man proceed evil thought, adulteries, mm -hmm. fornication, murders, mm -hmm. thieves, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, deceit lasciviousness. lasciviousness, and evil eyes, mm -hmm. blasphemy, pride, foolishness. So pride, bro, you have to fight that thing. According to the Bible, you rejected God's laws. You have to do what you need to do in your own time. You can't say you did not get the edification, all right? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. 
Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.